everybody welcome to the new week in competitive programming today is um, monday january 18th and we have several contests this week so i'll go through them and uh, and we'll see what are my favorite contest which ones are more suitable for which time zone etc so uh, I could find only one contest on Code Forces this week, which is kind of not much. But on the other hand, it's like the only contest on the work week. So if you want to spend your weekends with your family, then <clears throat> contests on the working week are the top pick for you, right? So, and it's also like almost convenient for every time zone, for every popular time zone. So yeah, it's a div2 contest that should be nice. Uh, I mean, in problem quality, perhaps the only contest that can outperform code forces is ad cutter. But this week we have beginners contest, so it, it will be also very nice, but it will be like more suitable for beginners. And it is as usual, usual at current time, 2 p.m. in my time zone uh, on Saturday. Right, so uh, weekly, be weekly contests on lead code this week. Last week we did not have be weekly contests. This week, as expected, they are back. And biblical contests are more suitable, but, but for like a, a non, not California, right? Uh, but still, like if you have time to participate in one of these three contests, like lead code, binary research, and lead code weekly, uh, like in only one of them, then I suggest joining binaryresearch.com because there is a chat. It's always welcoming and friendly. So I think like in terms of learning, you can get more from binary search as a platform. So that's why I suggest joining binary search contest. Um, community is all smaller, but it's more friendly. That's why I like it more. Uh, last week I placed second in their contest. So hopefully we'll keep up the good performance this week, but it's not guaranteed. Um, nothing much to tell about lead codes weekly and biweekly. I mean, we are mostly familiar with them. And there's also general kickoff on CodeShop on, uh, uh, I believe it's the only contest that's like, uh, on Sunday, at least I think so. Well, Lead Cut Weekly is also on Sunday, but it's like very morning on Sunday. Uh, and I personally recommend participating in the Coach of January kickoff. And you may say like, wait a second, like Coach of often has like problems with Q and not that long ago, they had not that great problems. And it's true, but they're constantly improving. And I think like participating in a not all that good contest from time to time, it actually helps because like, every platform may produce a non-ideal uh, non contest. So let's put it this way. It happens, it simply happens. And you get to be ready. For example, if you get like unexpected set of topics, right? And one way to get ready for such inconveniences is to participate in contests on different platforms. So this way you can uh, get prepared for something that is not standard for one problem, for one uh, platform, but rather standard for another one. So you gather all possible experience from different platforms and it helps on other platforms. For example, you experience long queue on Code Chef, you will already know what to do, right? You will know that you can, okay, like place status 
in one quarter of the screen and go to the next problem, like start implementing it. So save time. So even as the whole queue is long, you will not lose all that much time unless you like got your wrong answer on the previous, but then it, it happens. You, you will just, uh, still you want like uh, lost time, you will just invest it into another problem. So I recommend participating in CodeShop because it's like uh, diversity from our regular contest, right? Uh, that's pretty much it like for, let's talk about times. For Pacific Standard Time, the best times are binary search and lead code weekly contests. At color beginner is hardly possible. Uh, code forces, lead code be weekly, and code shall generally kick off a start rather early in the morning, but not that early. So I think like 8 a.m. if you have a good sleep schedule, and it's really important in competitive programming to have a good sleep schedule if you live in California, right? Uh, then you can wake up like at seven and by eight, you will be already fresh and in a good form. Uh, in Eastern European time, like everything is perfect except late code weekly, which is uh, an absolute catastrophe. And it's one of the reasons why I rarely participate in them. Uh, in India standard time, most contests are good. Like lead code weekly is a bit early, but again, not the terribly early. And banner search weekly is a bit late, but again, like uh, it, the duration of banner search weekly is only one hour. So you will like, go to bed like uh, 1 a.m., right? And not at like uh, 4 a.m. So it's still perfectly doable. Uh, that's pretty much it for this week. I believe I did not cover like many other platforms, but again, these five are the main platforms of our focus, at least for now. And I don't think like having a diversity of platforms helps with like participating in each and every contest on each and every platform, it's a little bit too much. I mean, um, this week I participated in four of these, right? Uh, four of these. And, um, and in some other contests in Kotchev. And this week I participated like in six contests. And for me, six contests a week is already a little bit too much. So yeah, uh, if you can make it to like four, this is, uh, this is already very good. So yeah, uh, just, just make sure like that you learn something from each contest and not just simply write as many contests as possible and you'll be good. And uh, this is pretty much it that I wanted to say for this upcoming week. I hope the schedule helped you guys a little bit. I also know there was like wonderful resource that I often use recently. Uh, we have C list, which is a Belarusian site developed by uh, Oropan, Grandmaster Con Forces, I believe. Uh, it has like much more platforms, many more platforms, right? It's like um, I said much more because I, I can't even count the platforms that are present here. So that was my initial, yeah, so. Yeah, really, they have just too many different platforms. Um, it's, a, it's a nice schedule. You can also set up for calendar notifications, but I personally like to make a short list for myself. So that's why we have uh, this overview in my spreadsheet. Uh, yeah, but if you like want to select a completely random content, then you can then you can do it. And it's also like great because it shows uh, some useful stats. So for example, we have like all of my ratings on different platforms, dynamics. So yeah, I recently started PinerSearch.com and it's color and we have like uh, 
very steep graphs, but on other platforms like LitCode, I don't do LitCode since uh, what, since July, and CodeChef is just <laughs> purely random because sometimes I participate in March challenge, and uh, I submit like one problem, and then I forget about it. So that's why <laughs> things like this happens. Right. So yeah, um, and. Like for me, the most important feature is that you have a list of your content that you participated recently in, what you solved, what you did not solve, and you can just upsolve. So if you upsolve, it shows like uh, blue. And it's really useful for upsolving because you quickly see what you have to upsolve. Like for example, I still want to upsolve blackjack and obviously strange shuffle, and I believe greedy ant is also doable. So yeah, uh, like today I don't, yeah, and this close group also. But yeah, uh, for example, today I don't have any contests upcoming, like Coach Chef has several contests, but uh, yesterday we discovered that these are not all that great. Uh, sometimes tests are wrong, sometimes it's just strange formats or guessing the description. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I will up solve today mostly. And um, I believe this is it for this week. I will put the link down to uh, put the link to the spreadsheet and to C list uh, down in the description or in the comments. Uh, and also, also, one final thing that I wanted to say today is that people were asking, you were asking me uh, to create a Discord server so that you can ask me questions, like not only on YouTube but also whenever you have questions, right? Pretty reasonable suggestion. And I, I created this Discord server. A link will be also down in the description. Uh, I'll try to put it on like on the screen, uh, but let, we'll see uh, if, it, if it works fine. So yeah, uh, so far we have like 30 people joined. So it's, it's already not like that dancing. And it will grow more once you guys join. So yeah, uh, with, like this week I will add several bots which will make it more convenient to use like several features. So stay tuned, join our Discord server and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.